Today, we're fishing with big worms for big bass. When you're throwing a bait this big, you wouldn't think you would end up with many bites. But the moment we put our baits in the water, the fish just couldn't resist it. But stay tuned until the end of the video because Tara ended up hooking into a monster. We're fishing some big worms today for some giant bass, guys. Got it paired up on my Kicking Their Bass TV X Loose combo. If you guys want to check them out, kickingtheirbass.com. I have it linked down below but we're ready to get this started we're getting revenge on this pond the last time we came out here i ended up missing like a four or five pounder on the other side and then i missed one every bit of seven pounds over by that pipe so we're getting revenge today with big worms let's go ahead and get it started there's big fish in this pond guys we just got to be patient and uh, cast around a lot we're also going to go to some different places this is probably not the only place that we'll hit today unless we just absolutely crack into 20 of them in here but uh yeah, let's go ahead and get started and see what we can put together today. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of you all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could take the time, hit the subscribe button, it really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. So when we first pulled up to this pond, the last time we fished, it was the first time we've ever been out here. And when I walked up on the bank here, there's like a lay down in the water and there was something that just scurried off right when we walked up. I really didn't know what it was. You know, we didn't know if there was fish in here. We thought it maybe could have been a turtle or even an alligator or whatever, because there is gators in here, which we need to be careful about. But um, yeah, I'm, that's what we wanted to start off here. Just kind of throw around and see if we can get a fish in this corner. All right, guys, this is all where it went down. See if that big bass is up here. There's a bunch of rocks right on the edge of this pipe. It's actually pretty dang shallow. The trick is, you know, if that fish is up in that dang pipe, you can get him to come out and eat it. That's what I'm pretty pretty sure what happened the other day is that fish was right on the in, inside of that pipe and he saw that bait come by and he wanted he wanted a piece of it. What was that? That was a bass? Look at that. What is going on? Throw in there, Tara. Throw in there. Throw in there. Look. What is he doing? You see him flipped over on his back? Guys, I don't know what in the world just happened right there. That is so weird. That bass was like flipped on his back. Like it almost looked like he was struggling, but it seemed like they were schooling, you know? That was a good fish. You see him up top? It seemed like he was like struggling though. You think that was a gator trying to eat him? You got him? Hook set, Terry. Hook set. Yeah. Good job. Is he big? <laughs> Maybe they were schooling. What in the world? Nice. There you go. That's a good start. That's like a three pounder. This is what happened last time. Tara started off and uh, then we started catching him. So hopefully that's some good luck. Pulled him out. That's a good one, girl. Good job. Started off. It's a good three pounder. Be careful when you're releasing them. It's a gator. Nice. There we go, guys. We got to start. Just got something, you know, get a bite. Let everything warm up. We've been fishing for a hot minute and we haven't had any bites. That was the first bite. So what we figured out at this place when we came was just the bites weren't, you know, it wasn't like we were getting a ton of bites, but the bites we were getting were, were better. We still caught a few smaller ones in here, but there's bigs. And uh, I don't think we're going to be playing for a ton of bites today, but the ones that we get, I think it'd be worth it. So let's just keep hunting around. I'm about to go in this corner where uh, I end up having a lot of bites and maybe we'll end up getting a big one. That's about where he jumped, right? Oh, he has it already, Tara. He spit it out. He had it on the fall. Wait, no, he's got it. I just snapped my rod. I just snapped my freaking rod, but I got him. Oh my gosh, I'm scoot I'm coasting him in. I cannot believe I just snapped my freaking rod, guys. What in the world? Oh, he's not even that big. How in the world did I just snap my rod on that fish? He choked it too, guys. He actually had it the whole time. I'm gonna have to go grab the pliers unless I can get him out real quick. What in the world? I cannot believe I just snapped my rod. Well, that is the second time it's happened in two and a half years. So what in the world? 
Yeah, that hook is is down there. All right, guys. We gotta go grab our pliers. I just gotta grab another rod. I have a mock crush in my truck. I cannot believe I snapped that dang rod. That's insane. The crazy part about it is that rod uh, was one that <laughs> I kind of messed up on the other day. Like I stepped on the end of them. Not like super hard, but every time I do that, I'm telling you, you, you have rods breaking. When you have them laid out on the deck of the boat, sometimes I'll reach over to net a fish or just do something. And I'll kind of barely put my foot on it. I don't even think about it. You know, it's just like really on the rod. Next thing you know, next time you go out and use the rod, you're freaking snapping it. So that sucks, but we have another one with us. So <laughs> that's gonna be all right. Here's our first fish. Made us break a rod on that one, but <laughs> well, at least we got one. There he goes, beautiful fish. Wow, broke a rod, still landed the fish all the way across the pond. Yeah, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. I heard it snap. I think Good. you're stuck in trees. Yeah, no, I, I just, that's insane. We are going to tie up the big worm back on. That is the main purpose of this video anyway, so we're definitely going back. So Tara's throwing an old monster, and I'm throwing this big, like, speed worm here. Just something different. She got the regular curly tail, I got the speed tail. She's trying something out different on each side. I got, like, a June bug red. She has, like, a green pumpkin. All right, boys, well, this pond definitely got us started. We both ended up catching a fish on a big worm got us in the right direction other than breaking a rod that sucked <laughs> but um we're gonna go ahead and go hit some more ponds that we've never fished before and uh see what we can find out so uh i will catch you guys at the next place all right guys made it out to a new pond some more of a lake than a pond to be fair with you it's pretty big let's see what we can get after hopefully uh we'll be able to catch some in here never been to this place before we gotta start that's what that's what matters Tara had a good three pounder, no, no like giants though. But maybe this place I have some big ones in there. Hopefully they're biting a little better. It was so weird because the two fish we caught were pretty much in schools, you know, they were schooling. We didn't have any other like just regular bites on a worm. So hopefully in here, this, this will change. Maybe we'll get on a good little spot and start getting a lot of bites. Guys, the amount of bait in here is absurd. I'm gonna try something real quick. I don't know if it'll work look at all the freaking bait i don't know if you guys can see that there is so much bait up on this bank here anywhere that i look in this pond i'm seeing bait there's actually a baby bass right there in the bait i don't know if you see that i have never seen this much bait in a pond before this place is almost better off putting the kayak in this would be a fire kayak spot bunch of open water it's kind of hard to walk around uh, I was telling Tara, I think we're going to like fish down some of this grass. I'm going to kind of just watch with my eyes to see if I can spot anything. And then uh, I might go drive around to that side. There's like a little island in a corner that looks pretty good. Realistically, on something like this, especially super clear like this, we need to figure out where the, some of these drop-offs are and go throw on the drop-offs. It's kind of hard to just kind of walk around the place like this and just randomly fish. Especially with how shallow and clear it is up on the bank. It's like you want to find something that these fish would be hanging on. Summertime big worm fishing, guys. Definitely the best time of year to throw a big worm. Therefore, the fish are more lethargic in the summertime. They're a little slower. And when they eat a meal, they want a big bite. Oh my gosh. There's a pelican, bro. I didn't know what that was. Holy cow. That's all I saw a second ago. I didn't know if it was like a dead animal. I look up and it was a dang huge pelican. All right, guys, drove around right over here. Tara actually ended up catching one. She said it was just like a pound though, like a little smaller than that one I caught in that one pond. We're gonna keep hunting. If we gotta keep traveling around the places, that's what we're gonna do. There he is. Tara, I got him. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. Oh, let's get it, baby. Oh, snap. Stay pinned, baby. It's a nice fish. Oh, this water's so clear. There we go. It's almost a three pounder. Thought it was over three, but that's a freaking, oh, that's about a three. Look how fat that fish is. There we go, boys. I'd say three or two and three quarter. 
Look how fat that belly is. We've been to a couple ponds and haven't really had much luck. Tara caught a smaller one and then that's a good, almost three pounder in a two pounder's body. Yes, sir. It is a hot day, guys. Hot summer day. Those bites are so rewarding. That is just a beautiful fish. Heck yeah. Let's get a release on him. By the way, guys, we're gonna walk around this pond some more. There's a ton of grass, as you guys can tell, all around this whole place. If you think we should film a frog episode out here, let us know, but we've only been here for a couple casts and already got us a good fish. There she goes. Wow. Let's get back in there, guys. I happened to see a boil down that bank. I threw down there, didn't really have a bite initially. Worked it down a little bit more and uh, right before I was about to get to the grass, you could barely tell that it was a bite. You know, it was just weight. Then I happened to see my worm slightly move into the left. That told me everything I needed to know. One thing that's been kind of hard on me today, guys, is fishing new ponds that I haven't been to before with a worm. It's just because I got to fish it so slow. When I go to new areas, I like taking like a chatter donk or, oh, there's another bass. This is the same patch I caught him in. That wasn't a big one, but it's like a pounder. He's right there in front. But going to new places, I like throwing a bait that I can kind of just fling around and cover water with. It's kind of hard for me to fish super slow on areas that I don't know if there's a drop off or I don't know if it's shallow or if I don't know if there's no fish on this side of the pond. There's just like a lot of factors that kind of give me questioning myself and it's hard to stick to moving slow with this thing. And that is the grass patch that I caught the first fish out of. Hopefully there's more in this corner. Oh no. Oh no, dude. I literally clipped onto that little branch. Didn't even see it. Hopefully I can get this out. Why, dude? I've had the worst luck with my freaking rods and reels today. Breaking one now, just doing this. This does not happen to me often. That was just a freak freaking accident right there. So much grass there, I can't even see that. Just blend it in. There we go. Oh my gosh, that's a blessing. I was about to say after all that crap happening earlier, like please don't have this happen. I would be putting my uh, green kicking reel on an orange rod. That would have been interesting. That was a close one, man. Very close, but we got it. good dude boys you already know if this wasn't a wor big worm video you guys know what i'd be doing i'd be chucking a freaking frog all up in this sauce having a kayak out here would be fire dude fire Oh my gosh, he thumped that thing one hard time and was just taking off. Oh, you had one too? Oh, dang. Sounds like Tara had one. She said it came off. Look how healthy these fish are though. This one's got a beautiful little belly on them. Not like he's super skinny. But look how dark. I want you to pay attention to how dark this bass is. When these fish are living in the grass, it just changes the color of their body. They don't get as much sunlight. And uh, you can definitely tell by the color on that fish. Thank you, buddy. That's a good sign, man. It's a great sign. I was actually coming over here to get the truck to drive it over by Tara. And uh, <laughs> it just looked too good, man. I was like, we got to try this out. That's one fish right there. I bet you there's another one. That's a good looking spot. I didn't even dang move my worm, guys. I threw it in there, popped it out, and it was just running. I'm like, somebody's got this thing. See, this grass is nice. This is all fishable grass. This isn't like that nasty slop that you catch in some ponds, like just that nasty gook. This is actually good grass to fish. Doesn't give you too hard of a time going through it with your bait either. If you guys are wondering what I'm doing here, pretty much you got all this grass. I mean, you got a ton of nice grass patches and I'm pretty much paying attention to like this fish, the, the last fish I caught, I caught him right there in that little tiny crevice. So you got a bunch of grass, little crevice. There's another money spot right there, little crevice indention right where that grass is at. Now I'm throwing pretty much parallel with this grass. And um, that's pretty much all we're doing. Fishing the edge of the grass, fishing the little holes, little crevices. 
and that's you know one the easiest stuff for you to fish when you're fishing something like this because you can't just cast in the middle of it and two that's going to normally be where the fish are sitting up in if you see a little hole or a little crevice a little indention in the bank more than likely that's going to be a hot zone for a bass to be and don't get me wrong these bass get all up in this grass but that's really when it comes into like hey you know i can't really throw this worm you know i might need to throw something else all right guys these ponds are a bit fun but we got to keep hopping on to the next all right guys made it out to a new pond this is a pond that i haven't fished in a long time but we have caught so many eight and nine pounders over the last i'd say like six seven years out of this place and over the last i'd say two three years i haven't really came out here oh there's a couple bass just swam out right right in front of us those were teeny tiny weeny minies but there's a good bit of grass on this side of the pond once we go up towards the middle out there there's a bunch of rocks and uh, that's kind of what i want to fish today we're just gonna see you know like i said i haven't really been out here much the last couple of years i feel like this place slowed down but they gotta still be in here especially the amount of monsters that we were catching and a dub ended up catching this pv at the time out of here as pv's changed since then i've actually been with i've been with adam three times he caught his pb <laughs> it, it was here and then it was at the trophy pond that we fished and then at the stanley's the last time we went i've been with adam all three of his last pbs it's kind of crazy i think adam needs to fish with me more often you know you know got some good luck going but anyways we're gonna hustle here guys see if we can catch some big fish we're still on the hunt for these giants it's been a very slow day to be honest with you only had like four maybe five fish total but uh we're still trucking we're not done yet and uh, i don't even think we've hit the good stuff yet but i do want to try to hit this place to see if we can catch a monster You got one? No shot. Is it a good one? Oh my gosh, this is a good one. No freaking way. Oh, it is good. Right away? Is that your PB? I don't think he's that big, is he? <gasps> that might be your PB, Tara. That might be your freaking PB. You gotta get him out of that grass. You got it. Keep pressure. Yeah. yeah, he's right there. He's literally right there. See him? Keep pressure. Keep pressure. Keep lugging him. That might be that's your PB, I think. Um, be careful. That is your PB. Yes! Oh! Tara, I don't know. That's oh. you see how skinny he is? That's a freaking giant though, we boys. Got a nice, Tara. Nice, Tara. Give me some. Yes. Yes, look at that. That's a freaking oh. tank. Okay, so, He's so pretty. I was about to say, we have the scale in the car, guys. We can run and grab it. I could get it if you still want me to. He's just a little skinny, but he, he's freaking, that was a good one. Heck yeah, boys. I haven't been in this pond in years. And Tara freaking smokes a straight giant. That is what these episodes are about. Working hard all day long to get a bite like this. And uh, this might just be the beginning in this pond, guys. <laughs> <laughs> heck yeah when she first hooked it i was like oh that's like a three pounder and then it jumped right there i'm like man that's a upwards of a four four plus pounder man wow her pb is about five pounds i think this one might be a little shy what a beauty though beautiful bass right there she's a four she's a four four point three four point three that's a good fish four and a quarter girl not heck a five yeah. pounder but that that's a good fish that's what I was thinking. She, her head's as big as a five pounder, you know? Heck yeah, girl. I'd say that's your, uh, that's it, definitely top three bass for you. For sure. That was awesome. Heck yeah. Well, that's only the start. We've only been here for what, five minutes? Let's get you in there. You got that, I had a gut feeling about this place. That's a nice one. Good four pounder. It's kind of wiggle her tail, like kind of wide. Oh, there she goes. Good. Heck yeah, girl. What a Good job. Fish. Heck yeah. Thank you. Heck yeah, boys, I have me pump. Okay. Yeah, when he jumped, it's so crazy because you could have like a one and a half pounder jump, he looks three pounds. When that one jumped, he looked, he looked three pounds, you know? Oh, here we go. Oh, that was a bite, Tara. Oh, we on to something out here in the middle, boys. He took my tail. He took my little, uh, yeah, I'm gonna throw it back in there. 
Probably should have worked it a little longer. I, all I felt was this, tick, tick. He didn't have it all the way. Oh. A little one. <laughs> it's crazy how they go from that size to this size, right? Well, guys, that's not what we're looking for. <laughs> but he sure ate it good. Thank you for biting. You got one? Nice. Gosh, they're biting. We should have came here all day. We've been grinding this whole day to catch just as many fish as we've caught all day. There you go. I think it's the same one you caught. Hey, a little bigger than mine. Oh, that one's at least got a little fat head on them. A little nugget? It's a nug. A nugget. A little chicken nugget. A fish nugget. Fish bite. It's a fish stick. Oh, oh, he, he bit it freaking twice. What? I'm throwing it right back in there. Yeah, he took my tail. Look at that. What? Look at that. My dang tail is on my hook. I don't know how that's possible. Oh. That's a small one, it's gotta be. Yeah, that's gotta be a small one. He grabbed it and started walking with it. But I felt tick, 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 tick. I don't think, I mean, it's just like a big Sanko, you know what I mean? I would definitely throw the... I caught him all the way on the other side. Oh, I was about to say, I can't tell if he's big or not. You got a bite too? Double up with me. Yeah, this one ain't big. Biggest one out of here for me, but still not really what we want. Bigger than my last one though. <laughs> Definitely made some progress. I am not catching any big ones today, guys. I have not had much luck quite yet, but we're not done. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Still a fun fight. Oh, Tara, that bite was insane. Come back for it, please. Wait. Did he have it? Yep. And he just, just totally doesn't have it all the way. That bite was intense right there. Holy cow. It was like this. Oh, just one hard bite like when we were out the other day. Get out of there, boy. Another twink. Tara catches a four pounder. I just get the dang grunts. At least we get in bites. At least we get in bites. The one decent one I had, I happened to lose. Running at me. That one's kind of the same way. All right, guys. We are going to go hit our final destination. Let's go ahead and get after it. This pond was not bad by any means. At least we know that there's still some big ones in here. If you guys want to see me come back to this one, let me know down below. All right, guys, we are out at another pond. Yeah, another pond. Let's see what we can do right now. This is usually a pond I don't get a ton of bites at, but a couple months ago, I ended up catching a four pounder in here. And then I went back one other time and caught like a two and a half, three pounder. So I've got some decent ones. Years back, we've caught some five and six pounders in here. So we know they're in here. Just haven't fished it a ton. So we'll see what we can do. Maybe hook us a dang giant. That'd be awesome. We already got one big in today. Get another big one. That would be sweet. Or even some decent fish. I would take some decent ones right now. I would love to see just a five, six, seven pounder. That would just be amazing. Oh, 
Oh, I got him. Little one again, not a surprise. Noah's been catching dinks. A dinker dinker. This definitely deserves a big fish. I have been stuck on the dink train pretty much all day. I don't know what's going on. At least Tara's been able to catch some good ones because I am struggling and we're just gonna let that guy go. He's fat, just not the size we want. We want a fat five pounder. Nice to get a bite in here though, to know that they're eating, to know that they're wanting to chew. There we go. Oh, Tara, I can't move him. He's running at me now. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. I don't know. I can't tell how big he is. Oh, it's not a bad one. Not a big one, but that's a freaking nice one. Two pounder. Did you get bit? Oh man, I'll take a dang two pounder. After catching all those pound, half pound, pound fish, man. I'll take this one all day long. He was stuck in that tree. That's what made him feel so crazy. Then he just started running towards me. Nice fish. Look at that fish's back, guys. A little spot on there. Interesting. Here we go, buddy. You swim back to your home. Tell your buddies to bite. <laughs> 